I'd next like to introduce a very brave young man. He is 10 years old. He's a student here at Mission uh, View School. And he's courageous, living without his mother, and standing strong as a family. And so, Bernie Sanders, I thank you for coming to hear Bob De La Rosa. conversation with you tonight is inspired and dedicated to my mother, Gloria Arellano de la Rosa, who is in Mexico and is not present tonight to hear this, but is in my heart and guiding me thought to speak to you. My name is Bobby de la Rosa. I am 10 years old and in the fifth grade at Mission View Elementary in South Tucson. I am the youngest of four children who were all born here in the United States. My brothers and sister Naomi, who is a high school sophomore, are living separated from my mother, who is forced by confusing unfair border laws to remain in Mexico, which feels to me like no hope at being with her children. We have been separated by these laws since I was four years old. In 2009, returning from my visit to Zacatecas to see my abuelita Maria, my mom got deported and has not been allowed to the United States to see all that her children have accomplished. At four years old, I really did not understand what deported meant. I remember thinking, deportado, what is that? A border patrol has, st has stopped my mother and father. I was in the back seat with my soft monkey, not knowing my life and the life of my brothers and sister would become a nightmare. For a short time, I stayed in Mexico with my mother, but she tells me now we are separated because she wants me to have a good education. We visit her as often as, it, as we can. I love when I smell her arroz and enter the door to really tight hugs. And she says, te enseñé mucho. My father is elderly. He is 83 and in very poor health. I worry a lot about him. Some days it is hard for him to get up and walk. Without my mother, my sister, who is now 15, has to do much of the cooking, cleaning, and regañando when I don't get to bed before 10. My oldest brother, Jim, could not help at the time because he was in the Marines for the past four years. Last January, my father got really sick. So my brother has ended his career as a Marine serving the United States to take my mom's place because of unfair border laws that do not allow her to be with her children and my sick father. My brother Bill received the important Bill Gates full scholarship to go to college in Maine. My mother could not be here to see that. Bill is in now and he says he is becoming an immigration lawyer to help my mother. He has become a German scholar. Our family is not unique. We are one of many hardworking families who are taking steps to change and reform laws. I am only 10 years old, but I know that every family has a human right to live together. Tenemos el derecho humano de estar y vivir juntos. 
I hope my brother becomes a lawyer soon, because kids like me need, need their families together. I really need my family together because my dad is elderly. And if my dad passes away, I want my mom to be standing next to me. Right now, that would not be possible without laws changing. Every family has a human right to live together. I hope something is done soon. My mother's words to all of you who are trying to change the immigration law is, no se dan por vencidos. Don't give up, please. I want to thank all of you for your hard work. I also want to express appreciation to my brothers and sisters who guide me and support me by example. Some of you may have seen my family story on the front of the page of the newspaper a few weeks ago. This is my family story, but it is also everybody's story who dreams of their family being together. By the way, remember the sock monkey I had in the back seat when I was four? And the border patrol stopped, stopped us? My mother places it in her bed at night and hopes, prays, and dreams for the day she can be with her children. They extend you mucho, mama. My family says that with the support of presidential candidate Sanders, all families who are separated by a border can one day be together. Thank you all again for this opportunity.